Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants, and today we're gonna make easy, healthy chocolate pudding. The base of this recipe is going to be baked sweet potatoes. Now you could probably use steamed sweet potatoes or boiled sweet potatoes, but I really find that the ones that have been baked work the best for this recipe because when you bake sweet potatoes, they get really, really, really sweet. I don't know if you guys have tried this yet, but I highly recommend baking your sweet potatoes. I personally love the taste so much better than any other way to cook them, especially for things like sweet recipes. They just taste so much more sweet and creamy and delicious. Oh, baked sweet potatoes are the best. So this is the first ingredient of our chocolate pudding. These were just baked yesterday and now let's pop them into the food processor. Another benefit of baking the sweet potatoes is that you can just bake them right in their skin. You don't have to remove the skin first, so it makes it really easy. You just put the whole thing in the oven and then when they're done baking, the skin will be really easy to take off and then just use as needed. Okay, our next ingredient is cacao powder and this is what is going to give the pudding the chocolate flavor. And cacao powder actually has a lot of health benefits. I will link an article down below if you're interested in checking those out. But some of the main things is that cacao powder is high in polyphenols and also is a good source of iron, which is very surprising. So this is a really great product to use if you want something that's chocolatey, but also healthy. And the last ingredient is we need some kind of a sweetener. I personally like maple syrup or date paste. Date paste being the healthier of the two, but maple syrup is also really good in a pinch if you don't have any date paste on hand which I do not right now. So if you wanted to go for the much healthier option, I would personally use date paste, and I will link that video right here if you guys wanna check out how to make that at home. But for today, I'm just gonna go very simple and use the maple syrup because I've already got it ready to go, and it's still a decently healthy option. Nice and chocolatey, mmm, smells so good. So of course I do wanna say I highly recommend tasting it as you go and adding a little bit more or less of things that you like to customize it to your taste preferences. So for example, if you don't think this is sweet enough, you can always add a little bit more maple syrup. If you don't think it's chocolatey enough, you can add some more cacao powder or you can add in other things you like. You could add in a handful of chocolate chips, a handful of raisins, some nuts. Any of those would be really good in here. For me, this is pretty much perfect as is, so I'm just going to transfer it to a Tupperware, and I like to store it in the fridge and then just serve as needed. And that's it. Like, honestly, this recipe is so easy. If you have your sweet potatoes already baked, this takes like five minutes to put everything together and you have delicious, healthy chocolate pudding ready to go. And this will keep in the fridge for a couple days. Mine usually doesn't last that long, but if you wanna make a bigger batch, it should last in the fridge for at least a couple days, probably even up to a week. So anyway, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make a healthy chocolate pudding with only three ingredients. If you're interested in more healthy, whole food plant-based desserts, I have a whole playlist right here for you guys to check out. You can watch those after this video and also don't forget to subscribe i'm making new videos every week bringing you vegan recipes and whole food plant-based recipes for you to make at home and with that let's eat plants and i will see you guys next time bye